morning, g r e a t e s t students and staff in the whole wide world. Today is Thursday, February 24th, 2022, day B, and a spunky day to be at Thunderbird. Here are your morning announcements. And today's winner of the Donut Day draw is Mr. Jeremy Klassen. Congratulations! Continue to participate in our daily giveaways and win more free prizes. And today's winner of the McTease Day is Ethan d e s l i g Do you enjoy expressing yourself through writing, whether you have an interest in writing fiction, nonfiction, or poetry? All writers are welcome to join the Creative Writing Club in room 2102 today at lunch. Great t o p boys, grad is getting close. If you or your family is feeling financially stressed about the costs associated with getting a new suit for grad, there's support for you. There's a local charity to support you and your family. Local sports personality Jason Gregor runs a charity called Gregor's Grads. They give grade 12 graduating students a brand new tailored suit for the big day that students get to keep. Please see Mr. Dunkley in the Connect Hub or Mrs. Perry Kikaniwa if you feel this is an opportunity that could help you and your family out. March bus passes are now available for purchase up until March 10th. Please come to the finance window in the morning, at lunch, or after school to purchase or pick up your bus pass. You must have your school ID with you. If you live in the Edmonton Glenora riding and are heading to post secondary in fall of 2022, make sure you apply for the Sarah Huffman MLA Edmonton Glenora Community Award. Deadline is April 28th. Check the SHEP homepage for a Google Form link. Congratulations to Charles Zhang and Kim Bahandi for winning Best Diplomats at this year's Model UN debate at the University of Alberta last weekend. Also, congratulations to Finn Thornley for winning Best Position Paper. A big thanks to all Shep participants. Well done, T Birds. Inc. Movement is a student led organization which aims to provide a platform for creative youths aged 14 to 25 to express themselves. Submissions for our provincial anthology will open on March 5th, and they want your contribution. Details about this anthology can be found on our website and Instagram at www.inkmovement.org at inkmovementyang. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another day of Awareness Week. Since the pandemic, the rates of racist hate crimes have risen by over 37% within all of Canada. By definition, racism is a prejudice or discrimination directed against a person based on their racial or ethnic background. This has, created a strong, this, uh, this has created strong concerns for the well being of the Asian community, as many local Asian businesses and individuals have been hurt due to racism. To help combat this, SHEP's Asian Alliance provides a safe place for individuals of any descent to talk or discuss current events. In this club, individuals are also educated about news regarding the Asian community and are also given a chance to explore different Asian cultures. It is important to speak up about these issues and fight for justice, even if the smallest steps are taken. Bye! See you next week. And today, there are no cafeteria specials. When you have fantastic students and outstanding staff, you're going to have a great day, and that's because we are Shep. Have a great day, Shep.